Hello my beginners, welcome back to my channel Desert to Beginner here and today we'll be talking about skincare or more specifically how I prep my skin before I put on makeup, before any makeup look. Um, I will be going in depth about the reel I posted on Instagram the other day. It was a quick review, quick mention about the products but now we're going to really go in depth, the nitty gritty about these products. Um, specifically. Inculus products. Inculus products is the holy grail. Well, for me. And to be fair, I'm still a beginner, so I haven't experienced the, all the products in the world. But I can say that right now, Inculus is the bomb. So let's get into it. First off, I want to talk about how important it is to moisturize your skin, to prep your skin, to prime your skin before any makeup look no matter if it's natural finish do we look full coverage medium coverage no coverage it's important to moisturize your skin why you ask because in my experience when i first started doing makeup last year or i think the year before it was quarantine i can't keep up with the years no more it's just passing fast like this anyways when i started doing my makeup i was like you know what i didn't know nothing i would either just put moisturizer on my skin like a little bit slap that on put on foundation or not even just slap on the foundation like that do a little eye a little eye razzle dazzle and that's it the problem with that is that my skin was irritated under the foundation um my skin was very dry and it was causing the foundation to be cakey around the little dry patches i have like around the corner of my mouth or around my cheeks forehead my chin and it was horrible secondly for a makeup base you can use multiple products there are um various methods you can use you can simply moisturize your skin use cream oh yeah it's like moisturize your skin and before you put on the makeup do whatever skincare you do make sure you put moisturizer spf pop down your skin and then proceed to do um your makeup routine two you can use primers primers can be confusing because there's a lot one that i stand by is madame miss madame mr milk <laughs> milk hydro group primer See, I don't use it all the time because most of the time um, I do my skincare routine before I do any makeup look because it's important to me that my, my skin is being taken care of. But if you're in a rush and if you don't got all time to like be putting on serums, this right here is the bomb. So the third thing I want to mention is Inky List and what I want to talk about. Um, they are very helpful. One, they're cool. No, not even that cruelty free one vegan <laughs> one two they are very helpful um when i was in high school i never used to break out as much and people were like oh my god your skin is so beautiful i'm like thank you <clears throat> lately reaching close to my 20s i am 20 reaching close to my 20s <laughs> um in my late teenage years beginning 20s my skin i don't know it had a drastic change and the mask was not helping i was breaking out around here so on my mouth where the mask kind of covers here you can see kind of the um scars that were left i'm still cute though <laughs> but yeah you can see the scars are left like i mentioned i have um whiteheads so a little bumps there i have an oily t-zone so a whole mixed up and i have dry skin oily t-zone but dry skin so it's all mixed up and i was so confused i was trying a whole lot of stuff like i worked at the bay indoor val and i tried clarins it worked for a while i'm gonna admit but i don't know i didn't see any changes in my skin health so i was like i'm lost and then i posted a story on my instagram and had a big red pimple i think the scar yeah the scar is right there and it keeps on popping up weird anyways i had a big red pimple and my cousin was like girl that thing is red 
inflamed. That looks painful. Try Inky. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try them. So I went and to Sephora. And I was like, oh, this is Inky list. I bought a whole bunch of products. Don't do that. Trust me. Don't do that. The products are great, but don't do that. I was like, this helps for blemishes? Perfect. This is for blemishes? Perfect. This is for dry skin? Perfect. Let me have it. I spent... And the thing is, I didn't really spend a lot of money, but I went crazy. I was like, give it, give me, give me. No. Do your research first. I know it is like, I don't know anything about skincare, and it's so confusing out there. Do your research first. Go to their website. Go to their Instagram. They're very helpful and straightforward. Their website, you can go to Skin Recipe and make your own recipe with their products that they offer specifically for your skin needs. Their Instagram, like I said, Ask Inky. You can ask them questions about their products, what products go with what, and they always post what products go with what. And they always post formulas for every skin type. So, <laughs> it's not like you're doing a whole set of research. They just give you the information that you need. You collect the products and work it on your skin. And another thing, they're not fake and like try our product it's gonna make your skin glowy you know when you see those commercials of the girl like just <clears throat> throwing water in their face and it's like my skin is so plump and it bounces right back no no okay this is not what you're getting you're getting real how do i say um real life results let's say because they're not on you know your skin's gonna be perfect they basically say we work on improving your skin because there's always room for improvement right so there you go information on inculus now let's 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 start the recipe let's start the glow so before any of my makeup looks or before i go outside or if whatever if i'm not going outside i'm still doing my skincare routine because it's that important to take care of your skin let's get it first i use the salicylic acid from inculus that has been sold out for weeks maybe months on sephora so my second choice is cerave not to bash cerave or anything but my second choice is cerave voila i use this one let's put that aside for now step one you cleanse and when I was talking about how helpful they are is because on every packaging box, on every packaging box, on their packaging, they literally show you the steps and which product is for which step. So step one, you wash, you cleanse, cleanse your skin. Salicylic acid is specifically for um, combination um, to oily skin, also works for normal skin types, but it's specifically for combination to oily skin. It's a foaming cleanser and a gentle exfoliant. The, sil the salicylic acid in it is the exfoliant. It works to um, help with oiliness and unclog your pores. And it also helps with acne blemishes. And it retails for $12.99, basically $13 on Sephora. And this is Canadian dollars. Step one, salicylic acid foaming cleanser. Cleanse your face. Step two, hyaluronic acid. Holy grail, my favorite product, my favorite hyaluronic acid from a skincare brand. That's it. It says use a pea size, and I mean it. Use a pea size because it's still a little bit in there. So it's still a little bottle. You don't want to waste it. Use a pea size. Like I said, on the packaging, it tells you which step. We're at step two. Hydrate. Let me tell you. When people say, like, hydrate your skin, your skin and skincare products, like, hydrate, hydrate. This, this is for hydration. I thought hydration mean moisturize. I thought moisturize meant hydrate. I thought it was in two and one. One and two. One and one. I thought that when you hydrate your skin, you're moisturizing your skin, which means cream. Now... They lied or what you thought is not what you thought so hydrate hyaluronic acid where's my post-it hyaluronic acid use before any other serum and it also tells you 
um, on the box that if you're gonna layer any other serum, use hyaluronic acid first because you want to hydrate your skin first, right after you want to hydrate your skin right after you cleanse and before you do anything else. So use it um, before any other serum. It hydrates and plumps the skin. Uh, this product is for all skin types, don't matter if you have normal combination, oily, for all, for everybody. Um, and it retails for $9.99 Canadian on Sephora website. When I say these products are affordable, I mean it. That's another point why you should go Inculus. Affordable. Now, do you see? Okay, I can't really show, but it's clear. You rub that on your fingertips. I just kind of. There we go. Mm. Voila. See the difference? Difference already between when I was. Between before when I was talking to you about the products, and now my skin is literally looking plump and hydrated. Water. It was thirsty. So there you go. Second step is a hyaluronic acid. Hydrate. <laughs> so th third step is. um This is specifically. I like to use this one. You could also use the poly, poly, poly something acid. I will write it up there for you. I can't remember the word or the name right now. But I use the 15% vitamin C with EGF. Third step is to treat. First step, we cleanse. Second step, we hydrate. And third step, we treat. It tells you right there. Vitamin C and EGF. So... It's a treat step, like I mentioned. It's for blemish-prone skin, and it brightens and regenerates the skin. So the vitamin C brightens, and the EGF regenerates the skin. It can be used AM and PM, which is important because some of the products, it only says for AM and only for PM, such as the um, exfoliating serums, such as glycolic acid or retinol, that are only for, those are only for um, the night. I can't even speak English, but nighttime before you go to bed. You see that? I hope you saw it. So it's kind of like an orange, orange, orange colored liquid. Let me just rub it on your fingertips like that. Woo! You see? I know you see that. Okay, I'm using my iPhone to film this, but I know you see that hydration. I know you see that glow. And that's why I like this product because it gives me the glow underneath my makeup. I don't know, it doesn't matter if I'm doing a jewelry look, natural finish, medium coverage, full coverage, it gives me that glow. Is this. Can you see? Oh my gosh, am I doing a treatment? It's the succinic acid treatment. Why I say target treatment? It's because it's for blemishes, such as these right here. These little pimples. Helps reduce the appearance of imperfections. There we go. Comes out green. But then turns like transparent or just like blends in. There we go, see? I like to put it around my T-zone. Magic. What? What? Glowing. Okay, that's that. And right after this, I like to put my liquid highlight. Why? Because this gives that extra glow. Because today I'm going for a dewy look. I don't have much information about it. But I will research. I just take that, put it on my fingertips. Because this one's strong. Rub it and just put it on. See that? I'm telling you, it's strong. I don't even need. <laughs> I see that? And if you're going for a um, no makeup look, this is perfect. Put your serums, put your moisturizer, 
put your illuminators, your highlighters, and brush back your brows, put a lip gloss, and you're ready to go out. It's your skin. Feel comfortable in the skin, girl. Woo! Okay. And um, last step. Moisturizer. This one is the peptide moisturizer. I'll show you and see step. Well, not the last step because the last step is SPF. Don't come for me, but moisturizer. This is the moisturizing step. So cleansed. Hydrate. Treat. And moisturize. Let me tell you a little bit about this moisturizer. Peptide moisturizer. It's best for dry skin. Like I mentioned before, I have dry skin. But an oily T zone. So basically a combination. Well, whatever. Um, best for dry skin. It helps reduce wrinkles. Um, I mentioned this before. It's the moisturizing step. You can use this in the morning, in the evening, at night, a.m. and p.m. And it retails for $18.99 on the Sephora app. Sephora app. Sephora website. At Sephora. Um, basically... Nineteen dollars. Let me show you. I think I showed you already. Voila. And I love this packaging. Why? Because, look. So no risk of contamination. You know. If you know what I mean. You put that. Ooh. to put up before and after before and after it's not done i'll be back to show you how it looks with all the makeup with all the foundation and with all with all like i said i'll be going for a natural finish uh dewy look so i won't be doing a full coverage foundation but just an example i want to show you how how illuminated how how bright, how shining your skin will look after the makeup base. So I'll be back. Don't go away. Don't run. So I am back and all dewy looking, highlighted, illuminated, sparkly. I just want to show you how smooth and non-cakey my makeup looks right now like uh, okru i can't do it but okru what did i tell you what did i tell you i told have the right products that fit your skin the right products that moisturize your skin on a daily basis and most importantly before you put on your makeup so I will obviously do a video on how I do my dewy dewy look makeup I try to go simple with the eyes I really did but then I got inspired in it this squiggly woogly <laughs> but the most important thing is that the actual base of the makeup the foundation um, the blush it's given dewy it's given well sheer so that's it for this video guys thank you for tuning in remember to subscribe to my channel like this video head over to instagram check out the reel follow me on instagram and i'll see you in the next video bye my beginners